So there's a new version of the SharePoint framework out, 1.18, and it brings lots of changes, especially to the environment, the version of Node that it runs on. So I've done this video so that maybe if you're installing for the first time or you need to reinstall, you'll know what to do. Let's dive straight in. So I'm going to install this on a Windows 11 PC, but uh, everything is the same on a Mac. The only difference being where you install Node Version Manager from, NVM, and I'll put a link to that below. So I'm going to go to my Windows PC. And the first thing I'm going to do is open my browser. And I'm going to go to NVM for Windows, a great little package that allows us to choose a node version when we're developing. So I'm going to download that. And I'm going to move down to the downloads and I'm going to go for the executable that we're on Windows. As I say, I'll put a link to the Mac version uh, below. So yes, I want to install that. I'm going to accept the agreement and I'll choose the defaults for this example. But you might want to configure that to work uh, best in your environment. So I'll let that install. Fantastic. And I'll bring a command prompt up. Note I'm running as administrator, so I've got full control. If I do NVM, I know that's working. Let me just uh, check and install Node version 18. That's a change for 1.18. You can have a very recent supported version of Node. If I check the Node version with Node minus V, yeah, it's working. Well, actually, it's giving me an error, so I need to use NVM use 18 for that to work. OK. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly install Visual Studio Code. You may have done this already, but uh, I'm going to download it for Windows and I'm going to run that. And agree, of course, to everything. And I know you all read these things. Uh, but I'm going to agree anyway, and I'm going to click uh, all the points on there and let it do its business and install. So um, once I've finished, I'll then launch that. And good, that's working. I'm using the August 2023 on this example. So what I want to do is I want to install all the different bits that make up the SharePoint framework. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install Gulp. So Gulp will run tasks for us. Next thing is I'm going to install Yeoman by copying that from a Microsoft page. I'll put the link below. And then the final thing I want to do is install the generator for Yeoman. These are the templates for building SharePoint frameworks, uh, web parts, of course. So So I'm going to go into my development folder and I'm going to run Yo, which is Yeoman, and I'm going to choose Microsoft SharePoint as the templates. So I need to put in a solution name. I'm going to call this my web part. Uh, I'm going to choose web part as a template, although there's lots of other templates we'll explore later. And I'm going to call it Hello. Robert's Dev Talk, hello RDT. And to show everything working, I'm going to choose React, just showing how it installs all the libraries for you. So we'll let that do its work. And then notice once I've created that, I have to run Gulp Trust Dev Cert. I agree yes to that. And we've now set up that communication between. Um, our local environment and uh, the one on the web. So I'm going to put uh, code dot to open it up. And now I've got it in Visual Studio. I want to open a terminal up and I want to check I'm running the correct version of Node. And then gulp build. And of course, this is giving me an error. Now, what it is, is I need to set the execution policy to remote signed. 
you may not have this problem, but on Windows I need to do that. And then I do gulp build and it should be fine. So I'll put the link to the execution policy that you need to run below as well. Okay, nice and quick. We will go into more detail later on. I'm going to change the tenant in serve.json to my one, which is robertsdevtalk.sharepoint.com. Yours will be different and save that off. And now when I do gulp serve, it will open the browser and I can add in, add in my, uh, my web part. Fantastic. So there we are. So we've uh, been up to install on our environment. I'll put the steps below in the text and rewind and have a look again if, uh, if I went too fast on there. But I just wanted to quickly show you how easy it is to set up the environment. It gives us Node 18 environment to run in. Thank you, Microsoft, finally. And uh, yeah, it's got a really robust framework to develop in. So have a look at some of my other videos on how to use a SharePoint framework. And uh, I think I'll start a new series uh, of working in version 1.18. Uh, Thanks for watching. Have a look at our other videos. Please click and subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time.